Now I'm starting the I3 block, and this is a very basic block. It's a derivative of the nine patch with some sashings added in. And so I've got all my pieces laid out, and I have a fabric that's not directional, but it has two different fussy cut pieces that I did. So I have an A piece and a B piece, it's just two different hearts that are in the middle. So I've got A pieces here and then B pieces in the X. And so I'm going to be basting my squares opposite side and then opposite side on my sashing things. I'm going to be basting the short ends first and then the long ends. So I will be assembling these rows here and then I will attach these rows to these sashings. And this is going to be the tricky part is taking all these pieces to connect to this one piece. All right, so I'm putting these together one row at a time, so I make sure that I have my A's and B's in the right order in the right locations. So I've attached my little sashings to their blocks that are above them, and then I'm going to connect these all together into one row, and then I'll connect it to this pit. So I've got my pieces all stitched together, and I've got them ready to connect to my sashing piece. Now what's going to happen is because I've got five pieces here connecting to a single piece, the five pieces are going to be longer than the single piece. So I've attached this with my tape up here. And when I get down to this part, I'm going to actually squish this down and then tape it. And so then I'm going to start at one end and stitch down to about halfway into the block. I'm going to stitch down to about here, tie off and then come here and start make sure that these line up right and work my way down to where I tie it off. That way you can be assured that both of your ends are going to be lined up correctly. And that's going to be critical to line up all these three rows with their one piece sashings in the middle. So I'm going to work on attaching this to this piece and then assemble my row two. Okay, so I've attached two of the rows to one sashing and I've come upon a problem. And that is because there's no point to make these line up. So, you know, these are off to each other. And part of that reason up here is because these don't match. So if I take this out, this should shift down. And I don't know that I'm gonna mess with this. This isn't terribly off. It's off, but not terribly. But that's the problem with this particular block, is being able to have these line up. The only way to have it done right is to mark it and then stitch it at that point. So I'm going to take this first one out and see what I can do to fix this. Alright, so I took the top of the left hand row out and redid it. I took it out all the way down to about the middle of this block. And it's not perfect still, but it's a lot better than it was. So I'm going to, hopefully that'll be enough. It'll gonna, it's going to depend on how this sashing and this row looks next to this row. So this continues to get interesting. So I've connected the second sashing to the other two rows. And I've connected my third row. And I've just got to put that on the other sashing and I'm going to try to see how much I can line this up across the way to this sashing. All right, so I've got all three of my rows connected and my block is done. Um, these aren't lined up exactly, but they're also quite um, bumpy and dimensional. So some of that will ease out once I take the papers out and I'm not con confident that I'm going to get it closer than it is. So I'm just going to leave it alone and move on to the next block.